They literally found Noah's Ark. I don't know how you could be an atheist at this point. I also don't know how I was an atheist for as long as I was. But praise God because I'm no longer ignorant and now I know God is real. What is going on guys? It's Big Nick back for another video. Thank you guys so much for coming back to the channel today. Before we get into this video, if you guys like Christian content, please give this video a like, subscribe to my channel down below if you are new, and turn on my post notifications so you never miss a new video. Without further ado, let's get into it. The remains of Noah's Ark were just discovered in the mountains of Turkey and the archaeological evidence is shocking. The Bible continues to validate itself as knowledge in this hour is increasing. In Genesis 8-4, the location of this Ark was specified to have rested on the mountains of Ararat. Then the Ark rested in the seventh month, the seventeenth day of the month, on the mountains of Ararat. As archaeologists stumbled across this location, they noticed a massive geological formation that resembled a gigantic boat. As they measured this boat-shaped formation, the length was exactly the same as how the ark is described in the Bible. God tells Noah in Genesis 6:15, and this is how you shall make it. The length of the ark shall be 300 cubits, its width 50 cubits, and its height 30 cubits. 300 cubits in today's measurement is converted to 515 feet, which was the recorded length of the boat formation found by these archaeologists. Researchers also used 3D scans of GPR and ERT technology on the site and stumbled across a man-made boat structure underneath the ground, with the formations of the dimensions matching the exact description of Noah's ark in the book of Genesis. The evidence was so overwhelming that the lead scientist, Dr. Fethi Ahmad Yuskal of the Department of Geophysical Engineering at Istanbul University, was convinced that this was indeed the historical ark mentioned in the Bible and went to the location to see the site for himself. Researchers also uncovered fossilized artifacts from the ark, such as rivet and petrified deck timber, which is consistent with the type of materials boats were assembled with back in the ancient times. Ron Wyatt, who's a Christian archaeologist, did further research on this event and captured this footage with a drone to give us a deeper look into the evidence. Check out this video. Here we are at last, gazing upon the mortal remains of the great boat that Noah and his family rode to safety. Now notice this uh, portion that sticks out here. When the boat came down from above and caught upon those rocks right there that you see in the middle. That tore its way into the heart of the boat and it pulled the timbers out from under this part of the gun wall. And it, of course, fell out farther than the rest. But this has rib timbers and metal brackets and everything in it to show that it's still a part of the boat. Now you'll notice a hole way at the right top corner. This is where a group that came out here in 1960, they blew holes in the boat with dynamite and then went away and said that it was not a boat. All that is except for Arthur Brandenburger, the photogrammetry expert who went away saying it is a boat. Now this area right in front of you here is a site where the 1960 expedition blew a hole with the dynamite and right in the middle of this is a cast of a rib timber. Uh, these gentlemen expected to find a whole lot more out here than just this uh, very disappointing remains where the stone that you see in the middle came through the boat under the railing and smashed it in and as the boat decayed the railing and all of this dropped down over this but along these lines are the metal indicators of the remains of the rib timbers again there's way more than enough evidence to show that this is a boat now we're giving you a look at the front portion of the boat. And for the you that have been on a boat, you can't fail to recognize this. Now as time has gone by, this area of the boat that you're looking at right now has fallen. It's gradually sinking and will slip out into the gully below while there's enough timbers 
in this gun wall to support that, but the bottom is falling right out from under it. <laughs> You'll notice these are two deck timbers that are sticking out and we got an iron bracket off of this, a right angled iron bracket. Now we're uncertain as to whether these are cast or petrified timbers, but they are at equal intervals and right opposite them on the other wall are their counterparts. We'll focus in on four of the rib timbers. This area was fractured during the earthquake. We measured the casts that were left. Uh, and have the dimensions on it, but you can see where the softer material inside the cast eroded down. And with this, we leave the boat. God's word continues to prove itself true, and as more evidence comes out that the Bible is a historical book with verifiable events, it further advances the case that Jesus Christ is real. If you haven't given your life to Jesus Christ yet, use this as a wake-up call to fully surrender to God, because your eternal soul is extremely valuable. Heaven and hell are real spiritual dimensions, and Jesus Christ gave us a way to inherit heaven through his sacrifice on the cross. I pray this video would call you to repent and get back on track with God while there's still time in your life. This is absolutely fascinating and also I do want to mention Noah's low-key a legend for building that because that is a huge boat and my man's built this for over a hundred years solo I don't know if he had help but I'm assuming he built it solo but hey I need me a Noah in my life because I'm trying to get a house soon I'm here in my apartment right now and I'm trying to have somebody build me a mansion bro for free hopefully you think Noah would build it for free you think he'd charge me I don't know we're all in God's kingdom right I'm sure he just hook it up. I want to thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Please leave a comment down below and let me know what you would like me to cover next. If you guys want to watch my last video, simply click up here. And if you guys want to subscribe to the channel, simply click up here. I love you guys so much. May God bless all of you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Take care and peace out. Wash from all my sins and now I'm clean. My soul was almost lost, he intervened. Oh yeah. Now